because this is probably not the best angle. But here we are. Hey guys, <clears throat> what's up? Welcome back to my sporadic posting. Um, I am actually gonna go out right now, so I'm sorry if I didn't have time to explain like the full disclosure of what this video is gonna be like but i think you can tell by the title this week is having i'm having a lot of plans i thought i'll do a little vlog as i would basically um right now i'm just doing my makeup because i'm gonna go out and meet up with some friends for lunch we're gonna get sushi and i'm also going to go for my contact lens appointment this week we'll be having a lot of things going on um it's going to be my birthday this week yes your girl is turning 22 yes basically uh, i'm having a lot of pimples uh, on this side of my face like it ain't nice oh my god so my hair okay you know what i'll just like <laughs> okay so i got this necklace from a local Instagram shop. Yes, so she makes her own like accessories. I think it's called Puffy Vintage or something. Yeah, I will link her Instagram down below. She made like other necklaces of different like colors as well. So it's pretty cute. I've been loving butterfly necklaces recently. I'm not sure why, but it's kind of cute. And I got this top from Carousel. Um, it's very cute. I love this top so much. I think I wear it in like so many photos, and I think like in a lot of my profile pictures, you can see me wearing it as well because I really, really like it. Cause I'm in into the whole milkmaid top kind of vibe and also the color lilac i think it's a very pretty pretty color pants it's from pomelo and it's sort of like this ew you can see my feet oh yeah, it's from pomelo it's culottes it's super like flowy or whatever okay i don't know why am i like i'm so bad at this i haven't done this in like so long mm, okay i need to go out have some contacts on right now i wore them on the way home after i successfully after two hours put them into my eye I tried taking it out while i was at the store and like it was so odd because it feels like you're touching your eyeball and then half the time when i was on the bus on the way home like i kept doing this so now it feels a little bit like tight and dry so i think what i want to do now is just try to take them out oh ah it feels so weird oh god this is like what did i sign myself up for get off my eyeball oh my god i have to take them out at some point because i can't go to shower with this and i need to shower stop being fucking pussy karen you can do this you can do this you you a badass bitch you've been through so much you can just take out the fucking contacts out of your eyes <laughs> Tired part on, but I did it. I took out my right eye, and now like my left eye feels weird. <laughs> one of them is blind, and another one is just like, yeah. But I took this one out, so that's amazing. Right now, I'm literally half blind, so it feels very uncomfortable. Oh, uh, okay. I will try to take this one out because it's really irritating my eye that half of it is blind and half of it is clear. Oh, okay. Ah, I took it out. I think I'm gonna cry. Yep, that, that's about it. I hope you enjoy my little torture fest right there. 
Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Oh, guys. <laughs> ah. ah, my hands are wet. Good morning. I just started my day. As you can tell, I was trying to chase like this bee out. Was it a bee or a wasp? I don't know. But it was like flying around my room in the morning and it scared me so bad that like I need to let it out. And it was like raining heavily outside, as you can tell. That like I had no choice but to open the window anyway just to let it out. I'm planning to work out today, as you can tell, I'm wearing my sports bra and then I'm going to try to put on these contact lenses <sighs> Okay, uh, I don't know why <laughs> like, I look like I'm being tortured but I literally signed myself up for this Two of a kind, they're really kind enough <laughs> to give me this 10 sleeves free of like contact lenses for me to try out at home it's only free if you were to go to the studio and do an eye test there and it'll give you this pack for free but if you want to order online it will have to be like i think 9.99 per 10 sleeves um sorry not per 10 sleeves but i guess like the first 10 sleeves okay the people there are so nice though by the way this is not sponsored i need to tell you guys i know that sounds I'm being sponsored by this. Uh, why would I be sponsored? I literally only have 300 subscribers. <laughs> like, I have been seeing their ads all around and I've been wanting to get contacts as well. And I really like how they like market their stuff. So I thought I'd give them a go. Their contacts are super soft. I mean, I can't compare it with other contacts because this is my first time wearing it. But if you ever wore contacts before, like, you know, from other opticians and stuff, maybe you will find this a lot softer. Yeah, I recommend it, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not used to this at all. Okay, you know what? I'll check back with you guys later. I'm trying to put this on my face. Oh my god, you guys, I did it. I mean, it doesn't look like I did it, but I did it. Like, I, can... I did it. Okay, that was my new record. Like, I put it on within, like, I don't know, five minutes or something. <laughs> I literally had to put on my glasses because the contacts that I was wearing they were kind of like giving me a little bit of an eye strain and it's making me kind of tired apparently the contacts that they made for me when I did the eye test and everything they said that I do have slight astigmatism but because it's so little that they can't make contact lenses for astigmatism because mine isn't like as drastic so i have just like the regular contact lens that they gave me and so uh, they warned me that like oh you will have a little bit of straining because you have a little bit of astigmatism not so much to the point where we have to make a contact lens for that so we're just gonna give you a normal pair that like you might experience a little bit of a straining you might experience a little bit of like tiredness and tightness especially at night if you were to wear them your vision's a little bit blurry but it's still okay like it's still like doable and fine right now i am currently editing this video that i am filming for the rest of the week um i thought i would make it a habit to just like edit as i go especially if i am filming for the whole entire week i think that's a lot more doable than just like leaving everything to the end for myself to edit because it would just have like a whole lot of work I'm like, you know what, if I can start now, then why not? I literally wrote down the stuff that I have to do for this video I'm excited for whatever it is that is going to be happening this week You guys should stick around to watch to see what happens Yeah, so <laughs> She never appeared in my vlogs. This is the first time. I'm so fucking tipsy right now. <laughs>
just got home for his order of business. This look like ear pods. Like it looks like the shape. Don't you think so? I thought I took the liberty of like going out to the cafe and just editing this video. Today I went to my school's cafe, which is a lowercase. Tomorrow I am going to get my hair cut maybe just trimming like down here definitely gonna cut my bangs because it's getting kind of long so like like here you know i'm gonna go to my hair salon at kizuki limb that is where i normally go to do my hair and i highly highly recommend them because I remember like my hairdresser tomoko she like washes my hair really nicely the massage is like so good i honestly always have a fear of not always but like most of the time i would have a fear of going to the salon i don't know who would have that fear but i do um because i had really bad experiences of like hairdressers like washing your hair in like the most vigorous way possible and they like yank that shit and like for me because i'm a naturally wavy hair gal i tend to have like you know a little bit more frizz a little bit more like tangles so you know you should be more gentle with me and i met like people who just like fucking yank your hair one time it was so bad that like i cried like i was full blown like just crying tears because it was so bad and i had to make up some like weird reason to why I was crying so bad. I had to make up some other reason because I feel like the reason of me being yanked too hard wasn't a good enough reason for me to be crying this hard. So I had to be like, uh, yeah, something happened at home and I'm just really sad about it. I think from there, I've always had like a fear of like going to a new salon because I don't know if they're like gonna be very gentle or like very harsh. And I feel like I'm someone who like it's it's still kind of scared to speak up. I know, like, I should be more assertive because, like, I'm paying for your service. Obviously, I would want you to give me the service that's more comfortable to me. But I think the reasons for me of not speaking up was that I was afraid I was gonna offend the hairdresser. That, like, oh, you're being too harsh or something, and then they'll be, like, taken aback. I don't know. I need to stop. I need to, I need stop. to stop worrying so much about what other people think of me. Damn, I feel like that's a problem a lot of people have. But that's something that we're all working on, folks. But I am lucky to have met Tomoko, who is just so gentle with my hair. And she gives like the best like hip massage and like literally like smooth out all my tension in my head. I always feel so relaxed whenever I go back to my salon for like my treatments and stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited to be going back tomorrow. So anyways, there's nothing else really much going on today there's nothing else really much going on there's nothing else really much going on wow i love english so <laughs> yeah there's nothing else going on today uh, so we'll just fast forward to tomorrow Kiss me. oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's yeah, saying he that when he wants food okay 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 Just order Max. E. Mexican cook. Mexican cook? What? I'm waiting for a grab right now. We had a dog rescue here. Like, very last minute. Very, very <laughs> it's so minute. happening today. I want to pet it, but. Dog on the road, yeah. and like... Is that ours? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. I need to throw this. So let's address the elephant in the room, my hair. I actually requested for like a dark, like ashy color, like an ashy brown, and I really, really like it. So it's kind of dark right now, but right, it's not supposed to be this dark, but um, my hairdresser, Tomoko, said that 
you know after a few washes then it will like start to fade out into a much more obvious like ash color so yeah i'm really liking this and i cut my bangs as well i wanted to cut them like shorter but i realized like okay they're gonna be a little bit curled so if i cut them too short and they're curled then they're gonna be like up here which is gonna be a little bit weird so i think this is a good length it's amazing i really love how it turned out i literally went out and just to get my hair done and then came back home because it's not really anything else that i wanted to do while i was outside i just wanted to come back home and edit this video i know what a way to spend my birthday right but the fun doesn't end right here because tonight my family is gonna be home and then we're going to eat some steamboat i ordered some pizza from pepperoni okay i'll see you guys later at night Woo 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 Ah my god <laughs>cake cutting and everything we had some steamboat it was amazing it was so great having everyone back home i know it's a thursday it's a work and school night but i really appreciate everybody coming back to celebrate my birthday with me and i got some presents to show you guys first we have this monopoly moleskin i already unwrapped it so sorry <laughs> But yeah, I've got this Monopoly Moleskin that my second sister gave me. So thank you if you're watching this. Like how is this pastel mint green and it also has like this. It's so cute. Oh my god. And it comes with like limited edition stickers inside. Okay, I just got a message. Sorry. It's like a little back pocket here and, oh that's so cute it's like the monopoly money i'll probably be using this for like journaling it's more of a plain notebook so it's literally like i can basically doodle or write stuff inside i really like the texture of this it's so smooth amazing next we have this toy camera this oh my god my third sister gave this to me she gave me with this card we know you love photography so we bought a digital camera for you enjoy taking nice photos ha 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 so i was like oh okay um, but the package feels like really small and very light and i'm like if it's a digital camera it should have at least some sort of weight so i was like oh okay maybe it's just like a, i don't know a really really tiny one and i didn't know it was this tiny this actually works apparently like it can take photos and film stuff so i'm like this has a mini usb to like bro this is like the gopro yeah so you can just like hang this and you can actually record stuff which seems kind of sketchy to me because i don't know do they want me to spy on people and stuff i don't know i guess this would be great for like if i were to take a really late grab back home and i ended up falling asleep i'ma switch this on so no one can harm me or if anybody did i have evidence but thank you so much for this it's so cute i really can't wait to try this out yeah so that's about it for tonight i'm really happy today it was a very simple but very wholesome day i will see you guys tomorrow
afternoon i just got ready to go out this is my outfit yes i'm wearing the same culottes and just a regular white t-shirt not a t-shirt it's just a shirt button-up shirt then i have this lovely hip band that also doubles up as a twilly that my good friend victoria made so i don't know i really like this look that i'm having these are the other twillies or hip bands that Victoria made for me. Thank you so much. She made a black one. I requested her to make these. So we have like a lilac one and then we have a black one. She has her own shop and I will link it down below for if you guys want to like request her or commission her. If you guys want her to make these, you can also kind of like you know, drop her a DM and commission her to do so. She also makes like tote bags and scrunchies. You can check out her shop. She makes a lot of other stuff as well. She doesn't make twillies for her shop. I requested her to make them for me because I really, really wanted twillies. Go check it out. Yeah. You get out, please. Why'd you have to sit all the way back there? home it is now 5 p.m i think i don't have my watch it is now 5 48 p.m i feel so exhausted <laughs> so before i end this vlog i guess i want to open the presents that hot Yee beatrice gave me thank you guys they said they bought like tea and and chocolate chips from marks and spencer's oh it's a lot <laughs> Oh, this is the chocolate that Beatrice was talking about. So it's from Marks and Spencer. This is the extremely chocolatey milk chocolate orange biscuits. She said it was really, really good. And like every time she goes to Marks and Spencer's with her family, she will buy this. So I'm excited to try it. Oh, we have English breakfast tea. I haven't tried English breakfast. I tried Earl Grey and chamomile before. I never really tried English breakfast, so I'm excited to try this. I think this will go really well with the cookies. Oh, what is this? Is this wine or is it whiskey? I don't know. It's some sort of liquor. I guess it's only for one person and the person is me. So thank you. I very much needed this. And oh, we have salted caramel popcorn. I keep getting salted caramel stuff these couple of days because like my birthday cake was salted caramel and then my second birthday cake that my friends gave me was also salted caramel and then here we have salted caramel popcorn y'all everyone knows me they know I love salted caramel so I, I guess this explains it and I think that's about it yeah oh I got so much food I'm definitely gonna be snacking on these for the next couple of days thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like in this video don't forget to subscribe i know you should expect me to post sporadically because i get kind of busy you can find me on all my social media links they are down below i have my twitter and my instagram i really appreciate you guys for being here i hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night and i'll see you guys very soon Bye.